Okay, guys, so I'm gonna have to clear something up that is extremely important that everybody just seems to not understand. Um, and actually including Ben Thompson, who I, I think by his own, I, I don't know if it's because he's like an idiot um, or because he just genuinely does not want to spread any positive information about Susan Shore's device. Um, so, or he just hasn't done enough research before making a video about the device. Well, he finally did make a video about the device. Um, however, he explained it completely wrong, painting it in a negative light, saying that, oh, somatic tinnitus is only like, you know, uh, related to your spine and only related to TMJ, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which is absolutely incorrect. That's absolutely wrong. Um, he failed to mention in his video and he replied to me in a comment saying that he did know about this. This, so he purposefully withheld this information from his audience that the vast majority of tinnitus that is noise induced yeah especially noise induced it doesn't matter what it what you know what the cause is it's somatic so about 60 70 percent of noise induced cases are somatic you can change the sound with modulation it doesn't matter if it's caused by cervical issues by spinal issues by tmj any somatic tinnitus is treatable by susan shore's device and that's very important and that's one thing that he did not mention in his newest video Take a look at the diagram that I have up there, and it's a very, very simple explanation of the relation of the dorsal cochlear nucleus, yeah, to other parts of the brain, yeah? So I'm not gonna go into depth explaining this. You can just take a look at the diagram I have on the screen, take a look at it, and then try and realize the relationship between the somatic parts and between the, I guess you could say, auditory pathway. Yeah, so it's very important to keep that in mind. When we're talking about tinnitus, there is a relationship in every single person's brain between these two things, which is why Susan Shore's device, like I mentioned in my previous videos, can actually help people who do not have very obviously somatic tinnitus. What somatic tinnitus means is that you can change your tinnitus with any movements. It doesn't matter what the cause is. It doesn't matter. Spread this information all around the internet. Spread it to everybody that you know because this is extremely important. And even though people like Ben Thompson cannot ignore the Susan Shore device anymore, they are still spreading lies about tinnitus, somatic tinnitus, only being caused by some physical issues. No. Tinnitus can be caused by physical issues. It can be caused by damage to the cervical spine. It can be caused by a TMJ, you know, temporal mand mandibular joint disorder. But that doesn't matter because everything goes through the dorsal cochlear nucleus anyways. Yeah, the dorsal cochlear nucleus control or not controls sorry that's the wrong term to use here the dorsal cochlear nucleus is responsible for all of these nerve signals so when the dorsal cochlear nucleus becomes hyperactive for some reason because of hearing loss because of you damaging your spine because of whiplash because of tmj it doesn't matter what the cause is it can be anything if the dorsal cochlear nucleus becomes hyperactive then you experience noise you experience phantom noise phantom noise perception aka tinnitus yeah so remember that please everybody okay peace